Hey everyone, it's Anna. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. I thought I would come on and share some fun mail that I've received. Um, I got a couple cards in the mail and then a little package here from Lisa Adovasio. So I'm excited to open that and uh, see these beautiful cards as well. And I also thought I would come on and share um, what I had for dinner tonight. So have a look. So I thought I would bring you out to the garden while I pick some dinner. Uh, this is some speckled trout lettuce. These were volunteer plants that came up really early in the spring, just random spots around the garden. So I dug up the little starts and planted them in rows so that they were nice and orderly in the garden. And uh, you can see that this lettuce is just growing and living its best life here. Uh, we've had a really cool spring and uh, I, the lettuces and the greens are just loving it. You can actually hear, even though these are really large leaves, you can hear how crunchy they still are. Every once in a while you might see a little hole from a slug or an um, earwig, but uh, I make sure we have enough in the garden to share. So I just don't want to make sure, I want to make sure we don't eat the slugs and the earwigs so the lettuces always get a good triple rinsing when I get to the house. But uh, these lettuces are really gorgeous. This one is a black seeded Simpson lettuce and uh, this is one of our favorites as well. This uh, lettuce leaf has a really interesting texture and it's super crisp um, and just has a really nice texture in a salad. And I love the uh, the hint of red there on the, uh, the leaves. It's just a really beautiful head of lettuce. And again I'm just harvesting the outside leaves. This will encourage the plant to put more leaves on in the center and uh, we'll just tidy up those outside edges and not make it such a haven for slugs to be in. And uh, the lettuce then will keep giving us uh, fresh new leaves. Instead of harvesting the entire head, I just pull off the outside edges. Oliver had to check it out as well. And then I decided to add some spinach to my salad as well. So I went over and harvested some of the um, nice spinach leaves. This is a Bloomsdale spinach, and uh, we always have really good luck with this particular variety. Um, it does tend to bolt a little early. Here you can see that it's starting to push up a flower head. So I'm just gonna tip off um, that top there and um, discard that. And then that'll encourage the plant to put more leaves on down below and not go to seed so quickly. Um, but that's one thing about this particular variety is it does tend to bolt relatively quickly. But we are getting um, late in the year here for spinach and greens, so um, it makes sense that uh, they would think that it's time to put seeds on because it's probably thinking it's going to get hot here pretty quick. <laughs> so. But uh, the spinach is really delicious. Even when the leaves get to this larger size, uh, they're still really nice and crisp and um, really, really delicious. Uh, you can also see that there's some snap peas there in the background. Uh, you can actually pick those leaves as well and add them to your salads and they taste like peas. So it's a nice way to add peas to the salad uh, before you actually have any uh, peas to harvest. And then also there's some nasturtium leaves there on the left hand side. They kind of look like lily pads. Um, those can be added to salads as well and they have kind of a peppery taste. And then later those nasturtiums will bloom and you can actually eat the flowers as well. I decided to pull up some radishes too. Uh, I noticed we had some of those that were ready to pull. So those are going to be a nice addition to our salad. And there you can see there's more peas in this area as well. There's also a really small row of carrots in front of these radishes that are just getting started. You can just see their little green tops there below in my hand. So these radishes are gonna be great. And then the last thing that I added to my salad was some fresh dill. We have so much dill in the garden, it's just everywhere. <laughs> um, so there's absolutely no, sh no shortage of dill here at our house. So I'm just gonna pull off some leaves here and add those to my salad as well. But I just thought you would enjoy seeing how things are growing in the garden and uh, do a little harvesting with me. So thanks for watching. All right, so let's take a look at these cards here and uh, I have no doubt they are gorgeous. So this first one here is from Gabby, Gabby with an I. And uh, ooh, ooh, wow, look at that. She's watercolored this with uh, glittery uh, or metallic watercolors. Gorgeous, Gabby. Looks like she's stamped it in gold as well. That's gorgeous. Isn't that beautiful? And she's used black watercolor paper. Cute little image. Love enclosed. That's so cute. She's got some gold sequins here at the top. Handmade by Gabby with an eye. This paper is really something. This gold, it's um, metallic, but it's got a matte finish. Cool. Let me look on the inside here. <laughs> I 
<laughs> she says, fingers crossed this qualifies for sparkles in June. Of course it does. Holy cow. It's even got glitter down here. That's beautiful. She says, thank you for the June hashtag. It makes me so happy. Me too, Gabby. This card is gorgeous. This one thing I have not tried is watercoloring on black watercolor paper. I will have to give that a try. Um, this card is from Jerry Reitemeyer. Excuse me, Terry Reitemeyer. And uh, let's take a look here. Oh, she's got a fun note. She always leaves the best notes. Let's see, I'll have to pause and read her note here. It says, my friend. Oh, look at that beautiful dragonfly. She's got some roses up here in the corner as well. And he is sparkly. So this definitely qualifies for sparkles in June. Oh, and she left it blank on the inside so I can reuse this. This is beautiful card, Terry. Just gorgeous. And this is a really pretty pink cardstock as well. It's like a country dusty pink. Gorgeous. Thank you, Terry. And I'm going to pause the video and read my note here. Oh, Terry, thank you so much for the lovely letter that you wrote. I so appreciate hearing from you, and I'm so glad that uh, you're on the mend after your surgery. And uh, even though you have a couple more yet to go, I hope that all goes well for you. So I wanted to share this card once more. Um, she said in her letter that she fussy cut the center rectangles here. Isn't that neat how she gets like a, oh, it's like a framed image or a spotlight image here. So the image continues on to the lower mat. Beautiful, beautiful. And I love this tag here as well. That's a really pretty green. Gorgeous. Thank you so much, Terry. And um, I'm just so glad you're um, on the mend. So it's nice to hear from you. Uh, let's take a look at this package from Lisa and see what she sent here. I was not expecting a package from you, Lisa. Oh my goodness. It's all wrapped up so nicely. Ooh, let's take a... Ooh, paper. Ooh. There's a paper pad in here that I have not been able to find. Ooh, I'll save it for last. <laughs> Look at this. This is a sparkly card. Sparkles in June is our hashtag for inspiration for June. There it is. So add that to any of your projects that you're using this month um, that have sparkles on it. This is gorgeous. I love this image and I love how you did the chicken wire around the outside edge there. Ooh, that's pretty too. Beautiful lace, and she's got some distressing and faux stitching on here. I love the little vintage button, and the twine is perfect. Lisa, this card is everything. Just wanted to send you a little something. Oh, oh, thank you so much, Lisa. <clears throat> I haven't been posting much lately. Um, for a while there, I lost my mojo, and then I didn't feel good, and I don't know. It's, it's just been a difficult while. These um, trims are neat. Floral garden burlap trim. You get three different kinds. Oh, I wonder where you found this. Look at that one. That's cool. I love that. And this one's just a little bit smaller. And again, it's a zigzag back and forth. And this one is like, um, like little loop-de-loos. It reminds me of some old garden fencing that I got from Aunt Patty who got from Grandma. It's like that has like the double loops. Very cool. Thank you, Lisa. These are really neat. I haven't been out and about, I feel like in months. <sighs> Just haven't felt like it, you know? Ooh, look at the birds. All different kinds of birds. Little sparrows. Starling, maybe. This one looks like it could be like a um, goldfinch. And then hummingbird. Oh, beautiful. Oh, I love this. Have a nice day. Oh, thank you so much. Very cool. I love that. And then this paper pen, too. Oh, my gosh. This is from my mind's eye, and I don't have this. I've looked for it several times and was not able to find it. You guys... There's um, several of you who send me paper and uh, you have like quite the knack of finding stuff I either have never seen before or stuff that I am coveting. 
this is one of those coveting ones. Let's see what's going on. Oh, here it goes. Oh, it's got it like an extra backing. Interesting. Ooh, I'm excited to have this. Beautiful. Ooh, I like that. That wood, wood, wood grain is different. Ooh, I like that page. Pink polka dots. Gorgeous. Oh my gosh. I love this polka dot too. Some ginghams. Is that floral different? I think it is. Yeah, this one has a green background and this one has a uh, like a white background or off-white background. Beautiful frame. Ooh, I love this. Oh, I think um, Tina sent me a card recently that had this. I think this is the paper Tina used on one of the cards she sent me. Um, I don't have it here at my desk. No, oh, I've moved it. Apparently. But Tina, um, Tina Kappa, uh, she sent me a card recently, and I think that I think that paper was on. I'll have to look for that card. I think it's over on the um, craft table over there. I can't see it. Look at that. That's beautiful. Ooh, I love this. Words. This is a beautiful paper pad. Ooh, I like that with the blue background. And then it repeats. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Thank you so much, Lisa. This was very, very sweet of you. Thank you for letting me know you've been thinking about me. And thank you for the beautiful card. I love that. And she's got it all sparkly on the back here, too. Looks like she's used the iridescent um, glitter dust spray. Gorgeous. And Gabby, for your card as well. Thank you. Thank you. And Terry, for your card and letter as well. So I feel very spoiled. So thank you so much, everyone, for uh, checking in on me. And uh, I hope you all have a wonderful night. Thanks so I had for to go out and find the card that Tina sent to me. It was out in the dining room. Here it is. See, this paper here is the paper that I think is in this paper pad here, but I'm guessing that it's a, either a smaller print in the pad. Here. Maybe she has the 12 by 12. Yes, look at that. Cute. So I bet, I bet she has the 12 by 12 of this paper pad. So cute. And I love this card too, Tina. So anyways, just, whoa, <laughs> wanted to share that with you guys as well. So thanks again for watching. Bye.